Bhagavad Gita Mahatmya, in the glorification of Bhagavad Gita, uh, described in greatness of Bhagavad Gita, it has been mentioned. Sarva Upanishadu Babu. All the Upanishads have been compared to a car. Dogdha Gopalananda. And who milked the cow? Upanishad with the cow is a cow. And the milker of that cow is Gopal Krishna. Krishna. And this cow gave the milk for the sake of the calf. Arjun. Arjun is the calf of this cow. And those who are truly intelligent. Those who are seriously concerned about their spiritual welfare, they drink this milk. They, they, they drink this nectar. Sarva Upanishadu Gavu Dogdha Gopala Nandanaha Vatsa Patra Sudhir Bhokta Dugdham Gita Vita. This Dugdham Gita. Gita is the milk which is like of the tongue. What is the characteristic of nectar? What is the, what is the specific quality of, a ne of nectar? Uh, the Sanskrit word for nectar is amrita. Uh, amrita means negation of death. Negation of Meaning immortal. You read Bhagavad Gita, you will become immortal. You will achieve immortal. That is the real purpose of Bhagavad Gita. How? Uh, as you are reading now, Krishna is pointing out <laughs> that the body is perishable. Body dies, but the soul is. The next verse you will see come across that point very clearly. Na jayate mriyate This spirit soul is never born nor will it ever die. Na jayate means it's never born. Mriyate vapadachin nor will it ever die. Ajo nitya shashrata ayam purano even if the body is slain, even if the body is killed, the soul cannot be killed. Soul may leave the body in certain condition when the body is severed by some weapon <coughs> or body is burnt by fire, then the soul may leave the body. And when the soul leaves the body, body dies. But the soul never dies. And what is our real identity? Our actual identity is the body or the soul? Very good. How many of you think that you are a spirit soul? Thank you. <laughs> and the soul is immortal. How many of you accept that the soul is immortal? Thank you. So, you are a spirit soul and the soul is immortal. Therefore, you are So, you achieved your immortality? <laughs> See, right in the second chapter of Bhagavad Gita, you read. The Dukha Gita Gita Mahat. This great nectarian milk of this Bhagavad Gita gives us immortality. Drink it, you become immortal. But how do you drink this nectar? Something you drink with your mouth. And something else you drink with your ears. Yes. You drink this nectar of Bhagavad Gita through your ears and you will achieve immortality. So in the second chapter that's what Krishna is doing. 
at the beginning of the second chapter. Krishna is reminding Arjun, and through Arjun, Krishna is actually reminding us. This is an important point to also consider through this analogy of the milk of the cow. Although the cow gives milk for the sake of the calf, but the calf doesn't drink all the milk. Those who have any experience with cows, you know that if the calf drinks uh, all the milk of the cows, or if the cows drink too much of milk, the calf becomes sick. So that means it's nature's arrangement that cow's milk is meant for human beings. Of course, the calf is the impetus for the milk of the cow, but it is meant for the human beings. So similarly, Krishna gave Bhagavad Gita to Arjun, but the actual purpose of Bhagavad Gita is for human beings to drink it. Sudhi. Sudhi, which individuals drink this milk. Sudhi. And dhi means intelligence. And su means very advanced, very developed. Also, it means very beautiful. So, whose intelligence is advanced, whose intelligence is active, and whose intelligence is beautiful, Bhagavad Gita is meant 